Now joined by Patriots team reporter Tamara Brown. Who better to break down the last game of the season while me and Tamara are still up here in Boston, freezing our bums off, digging our cars out. The Pats are down in Miami taking on the Dolphins. They lost to the Dolphins in week one, but down in Miami, it may sound good for them to be in a warm spot, Tamara, but it's been the houses of horror. They've lost six of the last eight games down there. Late in the year, it's really been trouble for them. What do you see about this Patriots team that makes them avoid that late game, that letdown game in Miami? I think the biggest difference from week one to week 18 is the offense. I feel like week one, when we had all those free agents and a rookie quarterback, it's pretty hard to know what you have out there on the field. They were playing it pretty safe on the offense. Obviously, Mac Jones is really young and new to learning the offense and the playbook. But now he's 18 weeks in. He's has great rhythm with Kendrick Bourne. We saw a, a lot of Christian Wilkerson last week, of course, as well. I mean, he's got both tight ends in the rhythm as well. And now the running game has finally got going with Damian Harris. And then, of course, Reminder Stevenson and Brandon Bolden. So I think the biggest difference between week one and week 18 is this Patriots offense has its identity. And that identity has to keep going in week 18. You mentioned Reminder Stevenson. Remember back in week one, he did have a fumble loss, only about three, four touches. Now he's a feature back, just like Damian Harris now. The Pats have punched their ticket to the postseason. The Dolphins have been eliminated, but this is a real litmus test. It's not the Jaguars. The Dolphins have a great aggressive defense. They have skilled players on offense. What part of this game do you want to see the Patriots prove themselves in to really show that they're a team that can make noise in the playoffs? I think it's going to all start in the trenches, to be honest, George. I think what really scares me about this Dolphins team is their front. I mean, over 40 sacks on the year, they're going to be blitzing Mac Jones like crazy, especially since he's a rookie quarterback. I know he has some games underneath his belt now, but I'm looking for the Dolphins to be blitzing him all afternoon long. And I'm interested to see this um, Patriots offensive line that we've seen a lot of change with throughout the year really stand up and protect the quarterback. I think if they can do that, they're going to have a really great chance. And then obviously the defense without Hightower and without Duggar out there, I want to see the defense really step up and take those plays away from Tua. So those are the two things that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, of course, the Dolphins defensive coordinator is Josh Boyer, longtime assistant with the Patriots, loves to bring the heat, 46 sacks on the year for the Dolphins. You touched on it, though. Kyle Duggar is out, tied for the team lead in tackles. No Dante Hightower out with the injury. Obviously, the leader for this team. Who needs to step up with those two guys not active for Sunday? I would love to see Mr. Interception get an interception or two down there in South Florida. And then, of course, seeing Adrian Phillips and Miles Bryant really step in as well. I think it's going to really come down to this Patriots secondary, being able to lock down Jalen Waddell and really stop Tua from making those big plays downfield with his go-to wide receiver, though. We have got to stop that Alabama connection. I know Mac Jones and Tua have a great relationship, but we want to save that for after the game. While their game is happening, we need to stop Tua for sure. And he touched on Mac. You want to see that guy from Alabama step up. Last one here, Tamara. What does Mac need to do in your eyes to make one more solid case that he gets offensive rookie of the year? Take care of the ball, George. I think I would keep seeing that one play from last week where he ran for it and held on to the ball for his life before he went and slipped. We need to see that. We need to make sure that if he does get sacked by this great Dolphins defense, that he takes care of the ball. We don't need any strip sacks out there. We don't need any fumbles. We need to make sure that Mac Jones really takes care of the ball, no interceptions, no fumbles, and really just sticks to what he does best. And I think that will continue to be what Mac Jones does best. He plays his best football when he plays a clean game. Of course, Mac Jones came off two losses, threw three touchdowns in their most recent win. We'll see if he can do the same again this Sunday. For all the Patriots Insight, Tamara, always appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, George, for having me.